Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video about how Sony is possibly trying to gaslight you. In the last couple of days, you may have seen a piece of news like this. Nearly 80% of all PS5, PS4 games are bought digitally. And of course, that's what uh, Sony wants you to believe, that the entire industry is moving towards digital downloads. Of course, they're cutting out the, well, third middleman, right? Yeah, they no longer have to pay a portion to the stores where, where you buy your physical games. You only buy from Sony directly and they keep all the profits except for the stuff they give to the actual publishers of the game. Uh, but yeah, they make a lot more money there. And also I, um, the profit margin is a lot higher. Whole thing about that. But when we look at this, yeah. Um, it says a uh, million units sold, so it's about the number of games they sold, right? Full game software, um, first party games, digital downloads. Um, yeah, it says digital download, PS4, PS5. First quarter 2022, 79%. That means nearly 80% are bought digitally. So the headline is not lying. However, you have to look at what's included here. Um, when we go into a bit more detail, oh, wrong one. Here, when we go to the source of the article, etc., they uh, released a bunch of these things. Um, yeah, I mean, th the main thing is here, full game software. I don't think it's classified anywhere uh, or, or specified what a full game software is. It just means a full game you bought. Now, when you look at it, of course, a lot more games are sold digitally because there just is no physical version of that game out. Every physical game is also on the eShop, but not every eShop game is released physically. So some of the games are only available as a download. And then what is a full game? Is a 99 cent indie game from the store, is that a full game? And should we count that? Yeah. So. Uh, of course, the physical games, or only the bigger budget ones, get a physical release. The small $1 games on the shop, uh, they don't get a physical release. And if one sale of that $1 game is classified as a full game download, of course, the number of digitally bought games is a lot higher than physical games because there are more games available digitally they are usually a lot of the digital only games are a lot cheaper, but they're made by small teams, small indie games, like sub $10 games. Some of them are only like a couple of cents in the store. And uh, this only shows the numbers. So it's 17, 79% of the numbers of games sold. And like I said, it's uh, the, the huge question, what does what's included in that game. Um, then there's the question, what about for free to play games? Is every download of the free game Fortnite a full download of a full game? Uh, I don't think they're counted in there, but still uh, these questions need to be answered. Like are the $1 games one full sale and do they weigh the same? as a $60, $70 new physical release. What I want to see is a statistic about a game that is sold uh, physically and digitally at launch, how many people get it physically versus digitally. So I want to see the ratio of games that are available both ways, not including all the games that don't have a physical release. That's what interesting to me. Now, I know, <clears throat> I know a lot of people are like, okay, I only buy digitally, all right. I'm not one of these people, but I understand that that's the way the industry is going uh, because the publishers, the uh, video game makers, um, the console makers, they make a lot more money that way because they're cutting out all the electronic stores, the game stores that would usually get a cut of that profit. But I think they should be honest about that. Re releasing numbers like that is trying to gaslight people into thinking, oh, yeah, 
I, I should only buy digitally because everyone else is doing it. And of course, you may say, okay, nobody is that stupid. Nobody is influenced that easily. But people are. People are greatly overestimating the conscious decision making of the majority of people. They are influenced by that. And by releasing numbers like this, Sony is trying to push people more towards digital downloads. If that's a good or bad thing, you have to decide for yourself. However, I think it is a pretty bad move by them to release things like that. And it's equally bad for stupid uh, news sites to push releases like this without questioning the numbers behind them. So that's just what I want to say about this. So don't believe this news. I would like to see uh, actual a fair comparison between digital and physical. And I'm, I fully believe that the digital games outsell the physical ones because it's just more convenient and less and less people care about having a physical version, especially now where they don't even include a manual and stuff like that. But I think this number is greatly inflated by just shady number, uh, putting the numbers together. Completely stupid. I don't think the numbers that high when you actually compare the games that are available both ways. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye.